something or nothing. You don't have to Donovan Mitchell score his 71 points. The NBA sent out their performance enhancement drug team to test him because they said his 71 points should not have happened. Is this something or nothing? It's nothing because I read an article where they randomly test anyway and the Cleveland Cavaliers just happened to test. Their time of testing was after Donovan Mitchell hit his 71 points. They would have been tested anyway. It just seems like the, maybe the timing was off, but I think it's nothing because they test anyway. Mm, I think it's something. Because, really? Yeah, I don't think it was. I don't think it happened by chance. I think the NBA was like, mm, 71 points, Donovan Mitchell, something they adding up. The reason why I say it's nothing is because they could have done the same thing with Luka Doncic when he put it 60-20-10. But they didn't. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that I think that it would have already – testing is a part of their schedule anyway. Yeah. So I'm saying I think it was just the timing of his 71 points and the timing of their testing. I, what I don't know is if they already had the testing date scheduled, and it just seems kind of odd, and it makes for um, some type of um, story. So I say nothing but, you know, cause only because they test anyway. That's why I say it. Okay. Something or nothing. LeBron James breaking Kareem Abdul-Jabbar's all-time scoring title by February of 2023. Is that something? Or no? That is something. And I'm hoping to be in attendance for that game. Let me tell you, even though LeBron James pretends like it's not a big deal and it's not something that he intended to do and he's a pass-first guy, I'm not buying it. It's a big something and it's a big deal and good for him. Mm -hmm. This people that are watching the NBA right now will be watching history in the making. That's huge. Yeah. That is really huge. Kareem Abdul Jabbar, he retired in 1989, 90, I think. So that scoring title has been held by him for that long period of time. And so now here we are, LeBron James in his 20th year in the season. 20th year and he is about to surpass that that is huge that's huge and he should be he didn't have to, he he doesn't have to act as humble as he is acting let exactly. it be known i've worked yeah. hard for that yeah and yeah. i'm getting ready to get it it is something and i'm just excited that we're watching history and making so that's pretty cool and now i do i will say this if i was looking at i don't know if it was espn or if it was some type of blog or whatever but they projected that he is scheduled to almost oh, be ESPN. It's ESPN. They have a whole countdown. They're watching um, when he's going to break the title. And if their projection is correct, LeBron James is supposed to break the title on February 9th, February 9th of 2023. And they're going to actually, the Lakers will actually be in New Orleans against the Pelicans. Oh. Now, what the Pelicans don't want to have happen is that he break the game. <laughs> He break it at that game. No, that name, he needs to break the title at home, yes. in, you know, with the, in Crypto.com arena. So <laughs> it's almost like, you know, how the 76ers were trying to prohibit, they prohibited um, Steph Curry from oh. getting his uh, three-point scoring title. <laughs> like, yep. you know, do it in our house. <laughs> so I'm wondering, it, you know, it's almost like where will the Lakers be when LeBron James break the Kareem Abdul-Jabbar scoring title and will the team allow him to do it? <laughs> exactly but it's a big deal history in the making all right something or nothing houston rockets eric gordon was recently asked what improvements the houston rockets made from last year till this year and he was quoted saying there's been no improvement same old thing all year Ooh, I know. that's something yeah that's something that lets me know the coaching is not what it should be yeah that's a coach that's a slight coaching dig yeah, it, it, totally. Shay. Oh, that's Shay. Yeah, Coach but he didn't want to say his coach's name. Absolutely. Ah, oh, well, yeah. Gordon. It's a big something, but we also have to consider the source. Eric Gordon is thirty-four years old. He's an old vet, surrounded by a bunch of young players. Eric has never won the championship, and Coach Silas is in his third season, and it, it looks like the team has tuned him out. So, yeah, yeah. it's. Uh, I think it's a big deal in Houston. I think it's a big deal in Houston. Exactly, especially. Since they're in the sweepstakes for Wimbayamba. <laughs> Speaking of Wimbayamba, <laughs> something or nothing, teams tanking for Wimbayamba. You know what? It is something, and I think it's disgusting. Because if you think about it, Wimbayamba's balling right now, but when he gets to the pros against those grown men and grown man strength, He's not going to look like the player that we're seeing right now. So it's a big deal because teams are ruining their morale, ruining the team chemistry, 
trying to get Wimbayama, and there's no guarantee that he's going to be the X factor for any mm -hmm. team to take them to the next level. You know what is funny? Um, I think the NBA has a lot to do with this. The NBA has put professional basketball games available for us to watch. Mm -hmm. He has spotlights, highlights all up and through the app. They are always talking about him on these uh, sports shows. So do you not think that teams are in their scouting and in the, the, the fans that are watching the game are not considering maybe we should have him? The NBA has a huge interest in Wimbayamba, but now we're mad because teams may be tanking for them. Well, NBA, you promoting it. Yeah, they are. So, no, yeah, it is something. All right, look, so Greg Popovich is fed up with the amount of three balls being launched in games, and he said he's hoping the league comes up with a four- or five-point shot and that it will be a complete circus, it will not be basketball, and it will be a bunch of crap. Is this something or nothing because his spurs are at the bottom of the West, or is he just grumpy? It's nothing. He's grumpy. He's mm. used to the old way. It's nothing wrong with that. But guess what? The league is changing. And if you want to know what the future looks like, the three-point ball is here to stay. Yeah, it is. And the three-point ball, for my something or nothing, is what's having these players being able to get these high scores. So, and it's unprecedented. I mean, I was reading the um, Athletic, and it reported that 12 players have already topped 50 points in a game this season. Mm, 50 mm. points. Donovan Mitchell dropping 71. Booker has dropped 70 at some point. Even in a loss, but he dropped it. Laurie Market in 49. Shea Gildish Alexander will get you 30 on any time he step on the court. And mm -hmm. the list goes on and on. And part of these high scores are because of the three-point ball, except for DeMar DeRozan. But everybody else, <laughs> <laughs> but everybody else will give you over 30, over 40, and it's not going to get any any less than that. Kobe's 81 points will not only be the high point moving forward. Someone will break that, and I anticipate it's going to happen sometime this season. Oh my so, goodness. Popovich, I hear you, but there's a new a way to play the game, and it's a three-point ball. And players are coming into the league with that mastery. Why are we mad? I think Pop is just a little grumpy because his team is not benefiting from the three-ball shot. And that's just what it is. I mean, you know, I, honestly, you know, like you mentioned, was Greg Popovich is one of those old school coaches and he doesn't like the way the game is being played. But, yeah, he just need to get used to it.